Hey, what's going on everybody? This is G, and I'm Funkin' Hungry. In this video, we're gonna try Chitato Indomie Mi Garang fried noodles flavor. So basically, this is a potato chip, but it has the Indomie Mi Garang flavor, which is a fried noodles. So yeah, this is something that I've been looking forward to trying for a while. But this is a uh, made in Indonesia. Indomie is an Indonesian brand. But yeah, I'll leave the nutrition information on screen for you. And I'll leave the ingredients on the screen for you if you want to pause and take a look. But I'll read the basic ingredients. 62% is potato, palm oil, seasoning mix, sugar, flavors, contains milk, wheat, egg, peanuts, sesame. So the Seasoning mix would be the type of seasoning you would get to put on the noodles. Flavour enhancers, our arch nemesis, 621, 631 and 627. So it's basically MSG and flavour enhancers to basically bring out those flavours. Salt, onion powder, garlic powder, paprika extract, soy sauce, powder colour, palm oil and then just a few other bits and pieces but you'll see that on the ingredients. Contains milk, wheat, gluten, egg, peanuts, sesame, soy, may contain fish, crustaceans, mollusk, candle nuts. Oh. But yeah, hopefully the flavour enhancers will work in these because I do really enjoy the Indomie Mi Garang, which I'll probably taste and do a rating on the channel one day. But they're, yeah, my favourite noodles basically Indomie, the brand, and Mi Garang, the type of noodle. The fried, the fried noodles from Indonesia. I really like them, and the Indomie brand is really good. My favourite. I've tried other ones, and they don't compare to the Indomie ones. So we'll try them one day on the channel. But for now, I'm going to try the chips. And I thought this would be a nice way to lead up to trying some Asian foods, having these snacks, the potato chips. Let's bust these open and give them a taste. Looking forward to this. Don't want to burst the bag everywhere. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what I expected, but they definitely smell like Mi Garang. So Mi Garang seems to have like quite a heavy fried onion flavour and taste to it. That's normally what I associate with Mi Garang, like an onion sort of smell and taste. Normally you put some dried onion onto it, fried onion. Yeah, these smell really nice. All right, let's give it a taste. Cheers. So I didn't know what to expect. I know it was going to be a potato chip with Mi Garang. But yeah, you're still going in. You know what it's going to be, but your taste buds, yeah. It takes you on a journey, basically. Like I knew it was going to be Mi Garang, but still my taste buds were really shocked. Now it does have a lot of flavor definitely tastes like mi garang not quite sure if it works with a chip and obviously when you have noodles they're hot so to me the flavors work well with hot food maybe not so much with cold food it tastes like the noodles but it seems to be a lot more stronger in these like the noodles are a little bit more relaxed a little bit more subtle these are just sort of hit you in the face which some people might love to me a few chips and yeah, they're quite overpowering. They're still nice, but they're not as good as the noodles. Yeah, a little bit strong, a little bit overpowering. Sipping on tea like Kermit. Yeah, it's definitely Mi Garang, so it is what it says. You get that strong garlicky onion flavours. You do get those MSG sort of coming through, which I think is a little bit more subtle in the noodles. Here it's sort of a little bit more in your face. But they are nice, they're, they're not bad. So at first you get the onion sort of flavor come through then you get a little bit of sort of chili garlic soy sauce sort of flavors the 
the seasoning mix that you would put in. I don't even think it said it has chilli in here, but you definitely get sort of a bit of a spice. It might be the paprika, but you definitely get a bit of a spice to this as well. Yeah, so it's a little bit spicy, definitely savoury flavour. Maybe a little bit sweet from the soy sauce. So yeah, it's a pretty solid chip. It wouldn't be a flavour that I'm rushing out to get again. And I'm happy that I tried it. Maybe I'm a little bit disappointed in some way. I'm not sure what I was expecting. Maybe a little less in your face. Like, the doesn't complement the potato as much as I thought. Like, the flavour is a little bit overpowering. Maybe I thought they'd dial it back a little bit. But they've dialed it forward. And it's sort of like the... Indonesian me garang Indo me noodles on crack kind of you know just really strong but yeah it's nice I'd what I'd like to try these with is a bowl of noodles like have the noodles and then chase it with a few chips I think would be really nice so you've already got that flavor in your mouth you've got the soft noodles and then you chase it with something crunchy you know just I think that would work really well personally Definitely say to go out there and give them a try if you haven't. If you have, let me know in the comments if you agree or you disagree. Do you like them? Do you think they're a little bit overpowering? But yeah, definitely not a bad chip. I'm happy I've tried them. I might get them again, as I said, just to have with noodles. I think it would be nice to have a bowl of noodles and then have a handful of these with the noodles. I am going back for more where some of the chips I've had lately, you know, put them to the side and can't really finish them. These definitely are unique. It's definitely making me go back for more. Okay, so my rating for the Chitato Indomie Mi Garang flavor potato chips. I'm gonna give them, I'll give them a solid seven. They're pretty good. You know, they're not the best potato chip, but they're really enjoyable, something different. You know, it's, a, it's, it's always good to try this stuff to see if you like it or not. And yeah, some people's taste buds are a little bit different than mine. So it's not as good as the Indomie noodles. So they're like a 10 out of 10 for the Mie Garang. And then I have a few different other flavours that we'll try on the channel eventually. But yeah, these are still nice, something a little bit different. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, if you could please like, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a video. This was G from Funkin' Hungry and I'll catch you next time. Cheers.